Good evening. Welcome to the RSC for the second game in three days. It couldn't be tougher for the home side after that 1 0 defeat by Sligo on Friday evening. It's the league. Interesting to see what he's going to do with this one. Ball in towards the back post. Free header. Oh, just a little bit too high from Evans. Oh, still not cleared. And then it's the goalkeeper at his near post who does the business. I think it was Hammond. It was Connor Evans got the header back across the goal. And then. It was Almond at the back. The ball looping up. And I think the goalkeeper though gathered. Ball is delivered in. Header. Oh, what a chance there for Shamrock Rovers. Richie Tell, what a great chance that was for Shamrock Rovers. That's the third good chance that the Shamrock Rovers have missed in this particular match. Will Shamrock Rovers rule at those misses? That's going to be the big question. Come the end of this match. From Brian Van McCormick. Parsons skips around the tackle of Daniel Cleary. Gives it left. Opportunity now for. Oh. And uh, I don't know, did he think he was offside or not? But he stopped. And yeah, he just stopped for some unknown reason, uh, Ray. Final ball, maybe not the best from, from Connor Parsons, but that was a huge opportunity for Waterford. It was an absolutely brilliant ball in the midfield by Ben McCormick to pick out Parsons in the first place. Brilliant pass. It's uh, undoubtedly the best chance of the game. Sergeant, another long, long kick. Oh, falls nicely now. Evans going to run. Can he get the shot away? Takes the deflection, tees it off. McCormick tried to place it, but it just always rose. Good work again there by Connor Evans. Showed great determination, going onto the ball and then uh, lay it back into the path of, of of McCormick. Unfortunately, he could not keep his shot down. But two good moves there in the space of about two minutes by uh, Waterford. He's around yeah. the perimeter of the, the fencing. Now Rowan McDonald in a little bit of space tries the flick towards the back post. Pod Jamin flicks it down. Oh, handball! Appeals for handball there, and the referee points for a goal kick, but really looked as if uh, the, the, the ball had been handled. The silver ball played in by Ron McDonald, played it in with his right foot, absolutely superb uh, delivery. Hammond with the header down. Yeah, I think it uh, came off the guy's shoulder. And uh, an offside flag raised. I think against. I think it was against Hammond, so it's going to be a free kick. Another ball through. Oh, it's fallen nicely. Oh, here's an opportunity. And there's a goal. And that's Waterford switching off. And Rovers are in front. I think it's uh, Dara Burns who's got the, the breakthrough. So easy again. That's what Keith Long said when they conceded against Sligo uh, on Friday night. Had to eradicate those mistakes. That's just another long ball played forward again. And caught not being caught square. And uh, Rovers take full advantage. Yeah, so we'll have to wait and see. See what happens, and it is very, very poor. Again, yeah, poor long defending. ball. Two, two players. Burns runs onto it, goes around the goalkeeper, and slots it home. But again, something that needs to be cut out. I think that was even a worse goal to concede. We thought the one on Friday night against Lego was bad. That was even worse. Just a long ball played forward again and caught square, caught nappy. Gives it to McAdam. McAdam into space, headed away by Lopez. Now it's opportunity and then well won. Melissa Asamoah wins the free kick there. Uh, I think give him a little bit of helping hand. Here comes the shot. Low at the air. Oh, yes, in the back of the net. Takes the deflection. Goes in off the post. One for their level. Yeah, good free kick by McCord. Took a deflection off a Shamrock Rovers player. And that's sort of rank footed the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper. But the RSC erupts there. The Warren fans up on their feet. Game on here at the RSC. The substitutes have worked the article for the Super Blues. We talked about it in commentary that you have to take advantage of set pieces. And it, it did take a deflection, but. Uh, Trying to figure out where I think it did it come off the wall and then caught the goalkeeper at the near place and went in off the upright. 
but it doesn't matter how it went in. It's one all here at the RSC. The corner kick. Back towards the back post. Horton under a bit of pressure, clears his lines. Controlled nicely by Watts. It falls back out there for Noonan. Noonan puts it into danger. Oh, what a goal! Super, super goal. Keeper knew nothing about it. And I think it's actually Lopez who got it. It was an absolutely superb uh, cross by uh, Noonan and great header. Super header, it has to be said, by Lopez. Showing his international class. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Showing his international class, Lopez there. Well, what a ball, Noonan. Absolutely brilliant. And a lovely glancing header by Lopez. That's what Rovers can do to you. Yeah. Rovers got back, their tails were up, their spirits were up. But then a little bit of class from Shamrock Rovers, Conan Noonan delivering that ball in with his left foot. Beautiful delivery into the box. By and there uh, Lopez in the style of which he scored at the other end. Diving header. Now Asamoa skips by. Asamoa across the area, but the last ball is a poor one. Put out for a corner. Waterford get their third corner up the half. Yeah, Asamoa did everything right apart from his final delivery. However, he did win the corner kick for the home side. So McCourt overhit the last couple. Can he get one into Dara Power? Cross field, headed in field. Ball low has gone out of place as Michelle O'Neill, and it's going to be um, probably the last action once the ball comes into play here. We've already had five and a half minutes of additional time. Yeah, when you look back on, that, on, on, on it again, Ray, you know Warburg conceded a terrible goal and the Shamrock Row with the lead, really. And uh, got back into it then with that uh, free kick, got a, a deflection. And really, the crowd were up, the players were up, but then an absolutely superb goal scored by Carlo Lopez. Uh, brilliant. Well, that's been the story of the game here at the Regional Sports Centre. The full-time score, Waterford FC 1, Shamrock Rovers 2. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend.